add or subtract precise values. Nudge keys left or right on twos. Snap nudge. Nudge all keys. Nudge all the animation in the scene. Insert in between and retime the scene. Nudge keys for a cycle. Retime. Reset a pose. Reset only transition, rotation, or scale. Set a custom default pose. Gradually blend the pose to its default. Share keys among controllers. Use a tween machine designed from hand-drawn animation perspective. Create first pass overshoot with one click. Avoid gimbal locks. Ease in and out. Create wave and noise. Amp or deamp a curve. Amp or deamp a lot of curves. Make keys linear. Scale keys from its left neighbor. From its right neighbor. Overshoot. Scale from the average pivot value. Scale from the default value. Amp or deamp expressions. Scale from another frame pivot. Amp the energy. Improve dead moving holds. Offset poses without offsetting keys. Bake keys. Simplify the curve. Smooth your noise mocap data. Gradually blend keys toward the neighbor keys. Finesse the spacing. Even in world space. Gradually blend keys toward the buffer curve. The default value. To a perfect ease in or out. To a different frame. Use that for lip sync. Or to blend in some squash and stretch. Blend to infinity. Create handles. Gradually blend to undo. Combine all those sliders. Match the head or tail tangents on cycles. Make a better tangent guess. Hit the wall. Polish tangents with one click. Smooth cycles transition. Apply tangents to timeline keys. Tint keys. Be aware of selected objects and make a new selection within it. Create, organize, and select group of controllers. Isolate groups of objects. Select opposite controls. Automatically select opposite controls. Deselect right, center, or left controls. Copy a pose to another frame, character, or even to another Maya session. Copy and paste animation around in a non-destructive manner. From a character to another, or from a curve to another. Use a mirror tool that works for every rig. Mirror an entire pose or just part of it. Or gradually blend to mirror. Mirror a selection of animation. Or a whole animation. Or automatically. Align objects, maybe just the position, orientation, or scale. Align objects on a range, or to the whole animation. Copy X form of an object and paste to another. To all keys. Stick objects to world space. Fix sliding feet. Transfer the master motion to COG and IKs. Lock child controls in world space. Reposition the master control. Avoid overcomplicated constraints. Copy and paste a relationship with no commitment to a single key or all keys. Pass the torch. Fake relationships. Have a sticky relationship or a temporary relationship. Switch spaces to a single key, a section, or all keys. Use the best rotation order to avoid gimbal locks. Rotate controls from wherever the hell you want. Rotate multiple objects. Stick the pivot to world space. Handle manipulators with precision. Edit a pose to the whole animation. Tweak an expression for only a section of your animation. Track the arcs. In camera space or any object space. Track the nose, damn it, or multiple objects at once. No available controller? Track a vertex. But only the range you need. A little bit at a time. Arcs of different styles. Don't let noisy arcs go unnoticed. Detect bad spacing. Edit curves faster with delayed refresh lag. Or with no lag at all. Get organized when working on long shots. Tag your frames. Play on ones. On twos. On threes. On fours. Only keys. Or just a section. Use Euler filter? To fix wacky rotations. Clear all animation. Crop your animation without screwing it up. Set keys without screwing things up. Snap keys without screwing things up. Essentially, don't screw things up. Remove redundant keys. Remove static curves. Or hide them. Or simply ignore static objects. Reverse animation. Navigate frames to keyframes faster while hearing the audio. Jump and edit keys. Loop through selected keys. See and edit all the channels of multiple selected objects. Have a visual feedback on the timeline when channels are selected. And clear the selection with your preferred hotkey. Switch manipulator's orientation with a hotkey. Orient it to your camera. Or do another object. Track down where that nasty key is coming from. Select all animation curves in the scene for a global retiming. Select all your rig controls. Lip sync to the beat. Hide unnecessary information. Assign a hotkey to toggle visibility. Sync what's isolated in all viewports. Give a rest to the F key. Go back in time. And most importantly, don't lose work when Maya crashes! Everything demonstrated here can be assigned to a hotkey. <laughs>